Hello, this is Broy, and welcome back to an episode of Let's Play Stellaris. Continuing our run as the survivors of New Brittany. Just colonized a new planet out here at Trebalor. And uh, so yeah, it feels pretty good. Uh, looks like a docks station can actually build some more stuff. Let's go ahead and build some more defensive platforms as we can. Why not? In fact, we can go ahead and queue up one more, more. Finish that thing off. Just, I don't know. Make sure we're as fully defended as possible. Weapon testing. It seems the apocalypse has come to a frip, a frip, whatever, for a many times over. Surface scans reveal that the planet has been scorched, bombarded, seared, and peppered in what use surely some of the most expensive weapons testing we have yet encountered. Uh, though countless attempts have been made to obliterate the planet entirely, it appears the aliens had not yet developed the technology for it. Uh, Science officer Jose Alvarez has collected an ass assortment of broken weapon remains in the hopes of recreating their designs. Sure, we'll analyze. we'll analyze the samples. I'm guessing that gives us a new thing. Why can we not? I'm confused why we can't do that. No, I guess you're still System surveying. Okay, there we go. Now we can do it. I was going to say, I was like, why can't we not do that? It just that you're right there. You were still surveying something. All right, we're technically losing a tiny bit of money. Still losing some complete. consumer resources. So I'll have to keep an eye on that. All right, so construction is complete here. I do want to come up here. Drop a... Uh... Oh, we're lacking some... Uh... Special project complete. Alien lasers. All right, pause, pause, pause. We have learned much from our from analyzing the range of the weapons found in the survivors... On the survivors of New Britain. Oh, okay. That I... Uh... The recovered fragments were from a mounted directed energy weapon system that emits a highly focused energy ray that can be used with great results in space warfare. Science officer Alvarez recommends we use our finds either by developing armor to counter the lasers or by recreating the weapons ourselves. Um, I mean, I like both of these. I mean, there's, there's the saying that the best defense is a good offense, right? I mean, I'm kind of leaning towards just more weaponry. You know, why not? Let's do weapons, the, the, the more offensive side of things. Uh, you're just going to go ahead and move up to here, and you'll be ready to uh, build that up once we get there. Research completed. Research completed. Very nice. Leader lifespan. Uh, more naval capacity. Actually, I kind of like that because it is costing us a decent little chunk of money at the moment. Population growth speed is also very nice. We also have a couple of other research type of things. Society research would also be good. Just help us research even faster. Um, I mean, all of the above. How much are we losing from our ships? 10% increase. So we're losing about 5 energy per turn if that's maxed out. You know, around there. So we're getting a lot more naval capacity. Could be pretty nice. I also like the growth. Just continue to grow bigger. Alright, we're going to do this one, though. Because that just helps all the other ones go faster at some point. Our oh, science ship is currently not doing anything. Uh, did we already, we already finish this thing, right? Yes, we're all good here. So, I guess you can come over here and survey this bad boy. Construction ship complete. is still moving out. Uh, we're going to go ahead and tell you to build a star base now. Uh, can we uh, make our ships even better now because of the new... Oh, these are already set to auto best. Because we do have a new afterburner. Oh, and rock reactor boosters. What does that do? Why does it not tell us? Additional combat speed. Okay. Oh, there we go. We go. Uh, power usage just goes up. Sublight speed goes up. Evasion goes up. This one, just more power. Which we're currently using. We actually have a little bit of extra power. However, if we drop this thing in there, that would make us lose a teeny tiny bit of power. So I guess we just need a little bit more power before we can do that. All right. Fair enough. We don't have any of these upgrades here yet. I mean, it's currently still set to auto best, so I'm assuming we're we're still good. 
Let's check our ships. I mean, are they upgradable? I don't think they are. I assume that they're already kind of set to the best. System survey complete. All right, site ship. Did finish surveying there. We do have some more dark matter there. So I guess come over here to where our fleet is at. Survey that system. All right, we're going to go ahead and take our fleet. Since our guy is about to be ready. We're going to move it up here. I'm hoping there's not a, a war that it kicks off. We may have to run away as quickly as possible. Uh, we're going to drop down speed as well. Are we all like friendly? Everybody's happy? We coexisting? For the moment, we seem to be coexisting. Okay, I thought we would, but I wasn't sure. Now we're flying very near the sun because who doesn't want to fly near the sun? Why are you blinking? Okay, I was going to say, it's like, you're not firing anything, are you? All right, so we're okay there, and there's more Ruby Guardians. Oh, there's actually Ruby, Topaz, Sapphire, and Emerald Guardians. That's kind of cool. Interesting. All right, well, we'll, we'll check those out here momentarily. Um, actually, I guess, presumably, we could fly out there as well and not die. Construction complete. Construction complete at the TV place. Um, everything else is looking okay at the moment. I might colonize this. I mean, what's what's the habitability um, do for us? Let's check. Um, if we go to you, how does the habitability kind of come into things? Okay, so stability doesn't show up there. What about population? I don't see anything about habitability there. Um, so the upkeep and the amenities usage goes up. So if we were to go look at a lower habitable planet, I think this one over here is 70. Nope, that one's 90 as well. Um, don't we have a 70 somewhere? Are they all 90, really? All right, this one's got to be pretty low, right? That one's 70. So yeah, okay, so it is population amenities and upkeep goes up, you know, with it less habitable. So in theory, we could just colonize this one and still be fine. I don't know. There's probably a reason not to, but I kind of want to anyway. All right, got all of our platforms built out. Let's go ahead and upgrade these three. Crystal Ball. The strike Force uh, reports a significant crystalline presence in the Assassin system, evidently some kind of den, or at least a hub of crystalline activity, such as it is. Uh, it's home to a crystal construct unlike any previously encountered. Construct exhibits several properties associated with the crystalline entities, but greatly exaggerated. Okay, let's pause for a second. I'm guessing that's here. Oh, wow. Look at that. Close, close, close. That is cool. We got all these little crystal guys running around. I guess we're just observing at the moment. All right. Um, you guys, I guess, can just come back home. I don't think there's anything out this way for us to look at. Why don't you actually come over? Let's see where you're at. Come over here. Oh, we have to explore it before we can go out there. Really? Do we really? Okay, fair enough. I didn't think we had explored these, which is why I didn't think that was still a requirement. Um, I'm just going to bring you back, guys, kind of back home-ish. We are losing a lot of energy credits now. But you're about to come up here. I don't know if I already told you. Yes, I think I did. Ships upgraded. Ships are upgraded. Definitely need some more energy credits. I mean, there's five there, four there, four there. So we could work our way up to this direction. Ships upgraded. Ships upgraded. All right, construction complete there. Nothing else to upgrade at this point. At some point, we will go ahead and 
grab another colony ship. We've got a little ways to go, although we do want to build this starbase before we do that. Okay, you're already performed that work. System good. Survey complete. System survey completed. We do have another planet over here. It's not super good. Presumably you could survey the system as well, though. Without dying. Because I think we, we found these guys, right? We, we, we are familiar with these guys and we're, we're friendly with them. Is that, is that what it is? Um, let's see. Species. The species screen lists all types of nominally intelligent beings we have encountered. We can toggle species to display only citizens of our empire. Act on show again. So I guess, I guess we haven't found other species after all. Or maybe those are just ones existing on planets? I don't know. I'm not sure what that's telling us. Arctic world. Resource storage full. Uh, which is our minerals. So, is there anything we can do <laughs> with our minerals? Um, I don't know that there is. Construction ships. Um, I want to. I want to lose minerals. I don't, I've got too many. Eh, whatever. We'll just let it go for now. Let's go to our sectors for a second. Can I... I guess I can't really transfer anything to you guys. I can create vassals, sector settings. Hmm, okay. All right, our consumer goods are good. Everything else is good. Just our energy credits are a bit low at the moment. Still gaining some of those rare crystals for now. Which, I don't know, why not? Abandoned terraforming equipment. Since our initial settlement of Trebolor Prime, several anomalies in the moon's biosphere have been discovered. The ecosystem is unstable and has not developed according to projected models for a world of this type. Our scientists suspect outside tampering, and these suspicions have been confirmed. A few of our colonists have stumbled upon a large underground terraforming complex that was built thousands of years ago. The equipment was apparently deactivated in the middle of terraforming process, leaving the moon's biosphere in its current unfinished state. If we supply enough power, we should be able to reactivate the machinery. There's no telling what the end result will be like, however. Interesting. Situation log updated. Okay. <laughs> we can pick one or the other. We can dismantle it. Which will take six months. Or we can resume it and see what happens there. Which takes 68 months. Kind of tempted to dismantle it, but I feel like this is the more exciting of the two options. So we may do that here momentarily. Ooh, potentially habitable planet. Oh, 100% Gaia world? Yes, please. That's a long ways away from our systems, though. Construction complete. Pretty good there. Go ahead and build out. We'll build out the mining stations first, just to get the energy, and go from there. Ah, primitive society to study their society. That's right. This one doesn't count as primitive, does it? It's kind of, I, I think it's like a similar symbol to the primitive thing, but I don't think that, yeah, I don't think that counts. It's like a, it's like a symbol like that though. I don't remember exactly what it looks like. All right, we do have enough alloys to build us another um, colony ship. Oh, you don't have a shipyard. Because you are purely defensive. Oh, because you're a bastion. That's what it exactly what it says. 
Uh, okay, we'll go ahead and do a colony ship here. Why not? We're going to go ahead and colonize the other Dissidia planet, which I think will be okay. Leader has gained some XP. All of our planets seem to be anomaly. just fine for the moment. Uh, another anomaly. We'll go ahead and research that. What are we capped out on now? Oh, oh, it's the same thing. We just we had spent a little bit and it capped back up. All right, we're even lower on the energy credit loss at the moment. Although once we do this colony, it'll go back up, I'm sure. More leaders gaining levels. Ah, Trabador Prime. It does have overcrowding and unemployed pops. So we will build us our first city here. Abandoned Amusement Park. That just looks like a very fun amusement park. Uh, the structure on uh, Hillage, I don't know how to say that, uh, are not as old as we first believed. It seems to be a playground or amusement park of some sort. Science Officer Ivalrez knows that many of the contraptions are highly complex cre creations that we can learn much from and that to the builder's alien eyes, this might have been a cutting edge sensor array or even a gigantic art installation. Regardless to us, the survivors, it looks mostly like a place where you would take your young and let them amuse themselves. <laughs> All right, we gained some, some research. Cool. No, I'm going to go back up to speed three for now. We're kind of trucking along. System survey complete. All right, we're done over here. I guess we could survey this. I think it's fairly safe to do. Um, yeah, I guess we're going to keep getting... Well, whatever. I'm not too worried about it. Colony here is got some unemployed pups. So, tempted to do some more generator stuff just because of the money. Could also do some more agriculture to keep growing, but let's let's lock in some more money. Let's do that. Construction complete. Right, construction complete here. Let's get us some more research. Physics is still our lowest, however, which we'll get a little bit from that one if we want to move out to there. We probably will next, although we don't really need the minerals, to be fair. Construction complete down here. Uh, that is our colony ship. So you're going to come over here. Can we just say... What am I looking for? Expansion planner. Can we just say... Colony ship here. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. I mean, it, maybe it's not a smart idea because it's still 65%, but I think it'll be all right. So we'll head out there. Obviously, the rest of these are very high, uh, except for this 100%, which is a bit too far away from us right now, I think. I don't feel like I want to come all the way around there. Ooh, new tradition. Very cool. All right. New tree as well. Uh, so we got discovery. Anomaly research speed increase, which does give us some more survey speed, things like that, which is cool. Although I don't know how much more. We're kind of getting to the fringes of our, our area. Diplomacy, form federations, empire trade value increases. We haven't really found anybody else. Supremacy, ship build cost reduced, ship upkeep reduced, and naval capacity increased. That one sounds pretty good. I'm kind of tempted to go for one of the uh, more aggressive ones at this point. Although apparently domination is more like within a planet and this is more ship related it looks like yeah so this is more how we control our people and this one is more how we affect other people and then there's harmony leader lifespan um governing ethics things pop amenities kind of leaning towards the supremacy just just to make sure we're in a good place there I mean, we're not in danger at the moment. 
So it might be smart to go with one of these other ones. Resource output from workers and slaves increased by 5%. Ruler level cap increased. I mean, domination overall seems pretty good. Um, Harmony looks pretty good. I don't think Discovery is what we want. Diplomacy I don't think is what we want. We haven't really found anybody yet. So I'm thinking, obviously, one of these other three. Um, Against Supremacy, I do want... But I don't know if we need it yet. Harmony feels kind of like it fits our motif of being very, you know, accepting of some of the other civilizations as as we much as we can. Domination also feels pretty good overall. Let's go domination. Why not? Sounds it fits. We're we're a uh, we're a monarchy, so fits our monarchy motif a bit. I think maybe <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Sounds right. Um, colony ship is doing its thing. Everybody else is doing their thing, so we're okay for the moment. Oh, we're paused at the moment. Construction is completed. Oh, construction ship is done. Uh, I guess there's no reason not to come out here and. Get this, this system under control, maybe. Or this one. I think either one of those will be fine. Yeah, let's go for the physics research out here. There's actually some over there as well. There's some over here. There's lots of physics research around that we can pick up. All right, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in there. Uh, when we come back, we will, I don't know, keep trucking along as best we can and uh, figure out what our next course of action will be. I do appreciate you watching, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.